All right, so dip bottom <coughs> leaf for this beautiful yeah, artwork. Mm -hmm. So and this I is. I think it's a watercolor, right? But it's a, a photograph of a watercolor. I think. I think it's a print. A print of a watercolor. Limited edition, Gicle, Gicle ah. print of an original watercolor. Yeah. Now you can tell it was an original watercolor. So her her watercolor is titled "I'm with you always," and his poem is titled "Watching Her." Yeah, and this is like Frank Robertson. He's one of our polymaths. Like you know, he does. Uh, the art and the poetry. So it's called watching her. Watching her every day as she sleeps, as she plays. Watching her grow year after year. Inches more, knowledge gained. Watching her and her friends, what they like, what they do. Watching her as she matures. A girl no longer, a woman now. Watching her with her husband and children. Watching them again and again. Watching her watching you, feeling proud, feeling good. Oh, I like that. Very nice. And then he, Frank, painted this. Oh, wait, no, Deb, I'm sorry, because Frank's an artist too. So Deb painted this. The same person who did that In response to Frank's poem. Which is called Wildflowers. And it's by Frank Robertson. What is it they want us to see? What is, it, what is it they want us to be? They come and they go. Some return again and again. Some are treated with disdain. Others simply ignored. They can be found throughout our landscapes in groups or often alone. Few are lucky ones who have found lovely homes. They live worldwide among wetlands and arid soils open hills and valleys, in sun and in shade. They often have close neighbors who blossom alone. Um, excuse me, I lost my line. They often have close neighbors who blossom none, so they grace their place with striking blooms of white, yellow, red, and blue tones. There are other types of boutonnieres. Those are admired and welcomed by most. They live in special places, show places of their hosts. So why aren't the wildflowers welcomed as well? Have they not proved themselves? Are they not of comparable beauty? Maybe if they were visited as God's creations without discrimination, their unique shapes and colors would outshine the others and find them lovely homes. Enjoy them, I say, while they last, before their fabulous lives have passed. Together they reveal radiant beauty as life can be, for soon they will go, perhaps never more to be seen.